How's it going, Raider Nation? It's JT coming at you with another episode of the Raider Cast, your podcast for everything silver and black. And breaking, breaking, breaking news this just happened Darren Waller has been traded to the New York Jets for a 2023 third round pick, pick number 100. Now we have four top 100 picks now there's a lot of talk on twitter about how this is an awful move and this is bad Uh, only a third round pick for a top five tight end and i completely agree with all that darren waller is an absolutely a top five tight end when healthy but this free this front office has never really been high on darren waller ever since they came in they've already tried to trade for trade darren waller once in the Aaron in the Devontae adams trade they tried to trade a first and a, basically a second, which is what we ended up trading, but it was the second it was Darren Waller at first, but then we ended up keeping him and only sending a second. So his original value was a second round pick. Now he has a, a second back-to-back injury laden season, and that causes his compensation to go down a draft pick into a third round pick. Also, on top of it, you have zero dollars in dead money across four seasons by trading him. He, we save twelve million dollars this season. As soon as this trade becomes live, we automatically get twelve million dollars in cap space, which is huge because we're only sitting about ten million right now. And as I said in my previous video, that the addition of Jacoby Myers points to Hunter Renfro being traded because of because of cap but his contract was a lot harder to be traded as i looked into it and it had to be a post june 1st trade so that's not an immediate cap injection you have to wait another three months before that becomes active so by trading darren waller now we get cap injection now that we can use to spend in free agency etc so now we have 12 picks four in the top 100 so do i like this move Mm, not the i'm not happy about it i understand it because like i like i just said injuries uh his contract was higher but not you know unmanageable but very movable you get a draft pick and you save money uh injuries but his play was still solid when he was playing um his 2019 and 2020 seasons were really really good seasons his 2020 season should have been absolutely an all pro season but travis kelsey said uh let me take a unanimous all pro tight end spot so he didn't get the 2020 all second team all pro but he should have been because he had an unreal season he had a top you know top game ever by a tight end against the jets in 2020 he had some crazy games crazy catches he was a true tight end a top three top two maybe even top one tight end when he was at his peak but back-to-back injury seasons, he's on the plus side of 30. He's on he's at 31 right now. He's only played two full seasons in his career, and they were really good seasons. So if he can have a full season, the Giants will have a very, very good tight end for Daniel Jones to throw to, and we lose out on, on a weapon in our offense. But now we're rolling with Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Jacoby Myers as our three big weapons. Also, Josh Jacobs posted shit sad for real that he posted this tweet saying shit's sad for real right after it happened. So he's obviously not happy about the trade, but we'll see, you know, exactly where that goes with Josh Jacobs as well. But this was very interesting news, very crazy news, was not expecting a Darren Waller trade at all. Uh, I made a video like maybe a few months ago talking about how I don't think Hunter Renfro or Darren Waller are being traded at all. But... Look at me, <laughs> I'm completely wrong. Uh, Hunter Renfro could still be traded, obviously, but Darren Waller has been traded. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it happened. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more, more Raiders news as free agency is just getting started. Turn on the notification bell and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, Raider Nation.